Security wants answers about a violent shooting spree that left one store clerk dead and another one in the hospital. Cops tell us the gunman took off, but they tracked him down and locked him up. News Edge reporter Denise Dillon in Rome tonight. And Denise, this all happened in mere minutes. Yeah, Tom, it was very short, very quick, and police say very odd. They say a gunman walked into this store, smoking a cigar, went up to the clerk, shot him, got into his car, drove to another convenience store, shot and robbed the clerk there. Then a few miles down the road, police caught up with him, arrested him, and he was still smoking that same cigar. He came in with a mindset to kill. Police say Lamar Nicholson walked into the high tech quick stop in Floyd County Monday night, armed and with a plan. He walks in, he walks right up to the counter, pulls a gun out of his right pocket, points it at the clerk, fires three rounds, turns around and runs out. He's in and out of the store in less than 12 seconds. Police say Nicholson jumped in his car and drove to the Elm Street Market, less than two miles away. He pointed a gun at the clerk and demanded money. Customers hid in the beer cooler. The clerk handed over the cash, but got shot anyway. For whatever reason, after he stuffed his pockets full of the money, uh, he shot the clerk anyway. Law enforcement was on alert, and Floyd County Sheriff's deputies spotted Nicholson in his car less than two miles away. If he wouldn't have got, if he wouldn't have been captured by the sheriff's office at the time they did, he was probably on his way to to commit another murder, to commit another crime. The crime spree didn't last long, but it took a man's life, wounded another man, and changed the lives of friends and families forever. It's just it's pitiful what happened to him because it's senseless. Nicholson is in the Floyd County Jail. People who know him say that he was just recently fired from his job. As for the clerk from the Elm Street store, he is in the hospital in critical condition. Reporting live in Floyd County, Denise Dillon, Fox just 5 News. So troubling. Denise, thanks.